Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. When I was searching in Google to know the trending jobs, do you know what did I find? It is AML jobs. I'm sure, just like me, you may also want to become an AML developer because you know the current trend shows lot of opportunities for AI developers in the future. So do you know what an AI developer is doing? Do you know what an ML developer is doing? Do you know what qualification an AI ML developer requires? What else you need other than the educational qualification? And what could be their salary? It found very interesting for me. I'm not sure if I can become a AI ML developer but I am always working with a team of AIML developers so I can understand the pulse. So if you're interested in this topic, please stay around. So welcome back. Just position yourself being seated and trying to understand the scope of AIML developer and you're preparing yourself for a career in AI ML. So we will discuss the role of an artificial intelligence developer, that is AI developer. Then we will discuss the role of machine learning developer and ML developer. So we can should understand what is common with AI ML developer. Then very important to understand the steps to prepare for an AI ML career. Then of course there are some essential skills which AML engineer should have. Then AML developer salaries. Of course, these numbers are not fixed. It depends on the company. It depends on the expertise. It depends on the availability and also the scarcity. So, but we can see some approximate numbers. So I would like to start with looking at an A developer. So let's understand both AI developer and ML developer and we should focus on the best suitable for you and me, right? So who, what is the scope of an AI developer? And we will see the responsibilities of AI developer. So looking at the scope of work, an AI developers work on a broader range of artificial intelligence technologies, which may include machine learning, but also encompasses other areas such as expert systems, natural language processing, robotics, and computer vision. So I was not aware of that. No, this AI has a broader technology scope. So I understand now AI developer has to work on multiple things, multiple artificial intelligence technologies. So it might include machine learning, but not a must, right? So they will work on areas such as expert systems, natural language processing, robotics, and computer vision. So secondly, they are involved in the design and development of systems that simulate human intelligence process. So AI always simulate human intelligence processes. So an AI engineer, AI developer, involved in the design and development of systems that simulate human intelligence processes. I hope you understand what is the scope of AI engineer or AI developer. Yeah, that is the scope, but what are the responsibilities? So developing algorithms that can perform tasks requiring human intelligence. This AI engineer will develop algorithms Algorithms that can perform tasks requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and language translation. This is not all, but these are some of the highlights. Okay. Then second responsibility is they are integrating a components to a larger system to create intelligent applications. They have an integration activities. And the third responsibility is working on the improvement of existing AI systems for 
better performance and efficiency. So they have development, they have integration, they have also working on performance, tuning, enhancement, support. So you may be joining a company, so you may be developing, you may be supporting, you may be doing the integration, but overall you have a larger scope of working with artificial intelligence technologies. So now we are moving on to the ML developer, who is an ML developer. So if you have already understood about artificial intelligence and ML, you are already aware that ML is a subset of AI. So ML is a subset of artificial intelligence. So the ML developer is going to work on a subset of AI, right? That is machine learning. ML developers specialize in machine learning, a subset of AI that focuses on developing algorithms that enable computers to learn from and make predictions or decisions based on data. So very important is that they make algorithms to enable computers to learn from and make predictions or decisions based on data. That means this work is primarily centered around data-driven models and statistical analysis. So data-driven models and statistical analysis. So if you are good at this, we can opt for ML developer. So what are the responsibilities of an ML developer? So I already mentioned that this ML developer is focusing on data. So something related to data, right? Pre-processing and analyzing large data set to identify patterns and trends. So you can always relate to large language model. So pre-processing and analyzing large data set to identify pattern and trends. And selecting and implementing appropriate machine learning algorithms and models. Second, selecting and implementing appropriate machine learning algorithms and models. Then training, testing, optimizing machine learning models to improve accuracy and efficiency. So finally, deploying machine learning models into production environment. Then of course, next is monitoring. So we have five important responsibilities of a machine learning engineer or machine learning developer. So what are the responsibilities of a machine learning engineer or developer? First of all, pre-processing and analyzing large data set to identify patterns and trends. Second, Selecting and implementing appropriate machine learning algorithms and models. And third, training, testing, optimizing machine learning models to improve accuracy and efficiency. Then deploying machine learning model into production environment. Then monitoring. Now you understand AI and ML. So you also understand how they are related. So an AI developer and ML developer, this is totally overlapping. So in AI developer and ML developers are both professionals in the field of artificial intelligence, but they focus on different aspects of the technology and they may have dis different responsibilities. But remember that an AI developer and ML developer both are creating intelligent systems. An AI developer has a broader focus that may include various AI technology, whereas ML developer focus on machine learning. But again, as a general rule, all this depends on the organization you join and the strategy and a developer may work on ml and ml developer may work on ai there is nothing hard written so if you look at an ml process so major process is like first start with planning then data preparation and analysis then you know model engineering then model evaluation then model development operations then deployment then monitor and evaluate and you know the chain continues so the fine tune keep on doing so this is the process being followed in a ml project are you ready so everybody we ask so now i understand what is the scope of a developer what is the scope of ml developer i may have completed my plus one plus two or i have completed my degree can i become absolutely you can become Obtain a bachelor's degree in computer science, statistics, data science or related field. Then if you really look for advanced positions, 
pursue your masters or phd in the relevant topic that will really get you very close to your job then you know of course educational qualification is not suffice you will have to have some additional skills again if you aim at ai if you aim at ml developer maybe a little bit of difference so if you are a skill a strong background in computer science and programming the knowledge of ai principles and technologies beyond machine learning such as logic reasoning and cognitive computing then experience with ai frameworks and libraries depending on the specific area of ai that you are working on or you are looking then it comes to ml skills when it comes to ml skill you should have proficiency in programming languages commonly used in data science such as python or r then deep understanding of machine learning algorithms statistics and mathematical foundation then then ability to handle data pre processing data analysis and model evaluation so if you look at you can say machine learning and handling massive data set should have the skill set for or you should have understanding about the numpy pandas all those libraries then you should have proficiency in the python programming language or ir language so this is kind of must have when you do your education try to learn python have a strong base base in python then then you should have some container ecosystem such as docker kubernetes and so on then of course when it comes to the process flow you know ml ops life cycle data set versioning process traceability those things are, are recommended just try to gain skill around uh, these areas of course so there are some key skills that you need to take care as you as you are aspiring or pursuing your career so you should try to understand data science and machine learning so thorough understanding about it then try to develop software engineering skills so what is the life cycle of software development engineering so try to understand that so maybe including version control jit writing clean or maintainable code and understanding software development life cycle and so on then try to specialize so choose a specialization within machine learning such as natural language processing computer vision or reinforcement learning and depend your expertise in that area so specialization will always help you so of course uh, try to stay updated you know machine learning is a rapidly evolving field so it is important to keep learning and stay updated with the latest research tools and technologies then gain practical experience you know when i was discussing about the data analytics career once you have enough knowledge you know next best thing you have to do is get some practical experience so work on real world projects participate in internship to apply your knowledge and build portfolios perform like some kaggle can provide practical experience with competitions and so on so try for that gain some practical experience then of course we should have a networking and community involvement so join ml communities attend conferences and connect with professionals in the field to learn from others and discover job opportunities of course you should connect to kind of linkedin profiles like networking see people working in the field of ai ml and showcase your capabilities and and sell yourself maybe those are good ways to get uh, good jobs then finally try to get some certifications and courses so obtain certification from reputable organization or completing online courses to demonstrate your skills and knowledge once you have done all this actually i think look for job opening in ml engineering and apply tailor your resume to highlight relevant skills experience and prepare for interviews by practicing common machine learning interview questions try to practice okay i think get all the questions like when you when you write exams normally you know you take the previous year exams questions the similar way try to find out um the common 
questions around then try to go and uh, so that's what uh, my recommendation so maybe i said the if you're looking at the salary so maybe a fresher may range from 0 to 5 lakhs per annum then maybe a entry level may get 10 lakhs then mid level maybe goes to 20 lakhs then senior level goes to 40 then lead principal goes to 50 or above again there is no uh, hard and fast uh, rule and it is all depends on the demand and the company and your expertise your proficiency everything so a lot of factors depend on the salary you take home and above all maybe follow your passion so of course an aml has uh, has the future and uh, you know find a lot of opportunities but you know above all it is your passion so focus and follow your passion and you will be reaching heights so wishing you all the best thank you very much for watching this video your comments are most welcome hope to meet you with another topic very soon thank you